Hi, I'm the Sitchinista and this is the third episode of my podcast about a handmade wardrobe. You will find me as Sitchinista on Instagram and, uh, and Pinterest and as Crazy Cybergirl on Ravelry. Have fun watching and uh, thank you for joining me today. I will start with what I wear. It's uh, an old make. It's this uh, sweater. I knitted it, I think, about three or four, no, four years, five years ago. I don't really remember when, but I really love it. It is out of a um, German knitting magazine. It's called the Filati Handstrick from uh, summer. Uh, it's the summer edition from 2008. And um, it is, in fact, the sweater isn't white, it's pink. And uh, in this issue, I will show it to you. But I liked it so much that I uh, looked for a yarn. I love white uh, summer sweaters. So I looked for a yar uh, yarn and I found a really good one. Um, I will show you the sweater and then I'll talk about it again. So this is the sweater. It's quite long. It's um, It has a lace pattern. You can see it here. It's uh, some, tri uh, yeah, this kind of shape. I don't know how to say that, but uh, it has uh, not really short sleeves, but yeah, well, short but not really short. And um, it has a simple uh, ribbed, ribbed yoke. <coughs> I. Um, have uh, used for this sweater. I have used uh, a Lana Grossa Grazia, which is a uh, cotton rayon microfiber blend. It's uh, it was really really nice to knit, um, and it um, it's machine washable, and that's what I usually do with this sweater. So I believe I just stuff it. Um, every third or fourth time I wear it, I just put it in the washing machine and in the dryer. Uh, no, not in the dryer. I just hang it. Um, and uh, it's just, it gets out perfectly. So um, I really like the sweater and the only changes I did from the pattern, I knitted it in the round. I didn't knit it in um, just back and front and then sew it together. I just knitted it in the round. The sleeves are also knitted in the round and then everything is joined with the yoke and you just finish up here. Yeah, well, this is what I wear today. I have made, in June, I have made uh, two instead of three things I wanted to do. I made a shirt which I'm going to change into. It was the, the sh uh, a shirt from the blue uh, knit fabric I showed you in the last episode. It, um, it was, uh, or it uh, has been um, made into a, uh, just a simple t-shirt with princess seams from the Buddha style 2013. 6, 2013 from this issue <clears throat> and I will show you the um, pattern it's this one it's this pattern it's this t-shirt and up here oh up here is the schematics I will show it to you so um, it has princess seams oh focus it has princess seams and um, it's really really nice and it uh, just fits gorgeously and I will uh, definitely think about sewing this uh, magazine uh, this t-shirt again but uh, let's see there's so many patterns out there so before I sew something twice I will definitely look for something else um, well, I will change the, uh, into the t-shirt and then I'll talk about it. Bye! 
I've changed into my t-shirt and I'll show it to you. So this is it. It's uh, just a simple knit t-shirt. It has the princess seams and what I like about this t-shirt is that it doesn't have side seams. Not here, but it has um, it has princess seams here in the front and also in the back so it really fits nicely also with my curvy hips and my uh, my slim waist so uh, I just like how it fits um, what I don't really like about this t-shirt is up here just the neckline it's not the size of the neckline but I still after uh, quite a few t-shirts I just never get the finished or I never get the clean finish binding neckline right without any any wrinkles up here because I always um, just pull while sewing I just pull too strongly on at the um, bias tape if you want uh, at the just the binding and uh, it just gets wrinkles it's not too bad and if uh, you don't tell the guys nobody notices but uh, I know it and it's just not quite too good I will exercise this so I have to practice and I will find out how much I have to pull while um, applying the band. Well, I really like it and what it's interesting, you don't really see um, the seams down here. You see? If you don't have a directly a line and somebody to tell you that here's a seam, you won't see it. Um, yeah, well, I just had before, don't wonder, because I had before I had the white sweater on and I had, um, I always wear underneath that white sweater, I wear some, um, just some t-shirts because I don't like to show my bra underneath the lacy uh, sweaters. That's why I just have this one on. So, um, this is my make, uh, my first make for July. No, I'm sorry, for June. We, well, we're already in July, but um, yeah, that's for today. And um, another thing, the instructions, uh, the patter pattern said that you would need 85 centimeters of uh, fabric. And I just uh, needed 75, so quite less. It's 10 centimeters and I really made the experience that I usually get minimum 10 centimeters um, I, or I need 10 centimeters less than um, the instructions said. So <clears throat> what I have as a second um, as a second May for June is um, the wrap dress I talked about in the last episode. It's this dress. Is this wrap dress, oh, or in fact, it just has a wrap bodice? But um, there's been a lot of changes, and also a lot of um, really good experiences because I learned that you still can take um, patterns which are um, made for stretch fabric like jersey or knits or just with elastane something stretchy you can use uh, just a simple woven cotton if the pattern has a zipper because that's uh, the thing usually if you don't need a zipper uh, or if you need a zipper you can usually use wo woven uh, you have um, I have here in the back I have that um, seersucker sundress I showed you in the last episode. Um, there I did the completely other thing around. 
I used a lot, slightly stretchy fabric for a, a dress which doesn't need any stretch. So the pattern, it works both sides, but you have to just take care and um, follow some rules. So nothing really, really um, difficult. But um, this uh, pattern was in the uh, simplicity no in the fashion style for 2016 which I've showed you I think I will show I won't show it again because it's the third episode I will I will use this uh, magazine so um, what I did I will show you the dress and uh, explain it to you I have here the fabric which is the one I showed you before with the buildings. Um, what about this dress? Uh, what is interesting about this dress is um, in the instructions they said to use one length of uh, a print. But in this case, I cut the dress. The, um, the print of the buildings was just on one selvage. So it wasn't uh, like this and then you cut one meter, you, it wasn't the lengthwise like the dress and then you cut one meter fifty and then the print comes again and there's another one meter fifty. It was on the selvage so this dress isn't cut uh, on the straight grain but it's, cr uh, it's, it's cut uh, cross grain which works and um, mostly with cotton because there's nothing really big what you can change but I wouldn't do that with a really wide skirt because uh, it just has a different drape with uh, this kind of just simple straight skirt this works works so um, I will um, put it on and then I'll, sh uh, I'll tell you what I've changed I changed into the dress with the buildings and I will show you now how it looks and then what changes I did. So um, I, this is the dress. It has the wrap bodice here in the front, you see it here. And it's a uh, calf length. It has a walking slit here in the back. And it has a zipper which goes from up here, uh, from down here, up here because of the small waist you just need it so you can just get into the dress um, what I changed is first of all when I copied the pattern I just um, did one thing I got from uh, from down here from the waist I just have to go one size or depending on the pattern two sizes up to just get my hips into the pattern because here I'm really small and here I'm wider so uh, I really have to adopt all the pattern so they just fit. Well, um, what I also did is um, the instruction said that you should just hem the, uh, the dress but what I did, I just used a uh, red as a really nice detail I used a red uh, bias tape to just hem hem the uh, the skirt. You can see it here. I really like this detail because you won't uh, if you just see it if you, if I walk here in the back, just here, just a bit. If I walk, so um yeah, well that's a detail I like. What I did as changes, the waistband is uh, double, so it's an inner part and the front part. And it's uh, quite wide, but uh, when I when I I saw the f the dress first, just how the instruction said, I I cut the fabric like the pattern was, but I uh, got a dress which had much too much volume and fabric just uh, at my bust. So the fabric was I can show it like this going up here. And that wasn't really possible for me to wear. So I had to un uh, open all seams again, everything down here. And then I 
took the fabric and just put it underneath the um, waistband so it just fitted better then I um, I gathered it again newly and then I just uh, sew it again so it was a lot of work and um, here the dress also has some gathers and um, but in the end I really like it how it got uh, the result I really really like it I wouldn't believe that I um, but my friend um, once said never if you ever have the impression that you need to unravel something or uh, you need to open a seam just do it because you will never regret it if you don't do it you will always regret it and since then I usually just do what my feeling says and I'm quite never wrong with this so um, that's the dress but because I had to do so many changes and it was it was really hard work and I was really uh, frust frustrated and annoyed uh, at some moment then I had to uh, rip some seams open again and again and again um, I haven't uh, finished anything else this month uh, but I will show you um, yeah well I will put a picture in here like a dress in the wild where you can see that I wear the dress in the back it's the summer sundress from last week the vintage dress which I will show you that I wore it on our holiday in France my plans for july are in fact the uh to sew the infinity wrap dress i didn't finish last month and i will also will try to sew the silk sleeveless silk blouse i was talking in the first episode i will show it to you again because it's still it's two months ago um this is the fabric It is a really, really bright and uh, beautiful silk. It's uh, unfortunately you cannot really see the colors. It's purple and turquoise and blue and gray and white. So it's in fact all the colors I really like. And I will. Um, I have already copied the. Um, the pattern out of the magazine and I usually just put everything in a bag where I also have the uh, the price tag or in fact the washing instructions for the fabric where I also have the buttons which are here these are the buttons and um, I just like to put it everything in those mini zipper bags because I have everything in one place and I don't lose it. And I got here the I all what I also do is I copy the instructions from from the magazines so I can just do all over my notes. And uh, if I just give the magazines to somebody else to just use them or sell them in the end, whatever I will do with them. Uh, somebody else can read in it. So this was the magazine. It's the Burda 9 2011, I believe. Yeah, 9 2011. And it's the um, pattern 128. This is it. You see, that's what I do. I usually just copy it. And you can also see here, up here the schematics it's just a really simple simple blouse yeah that's uh, my swing plan number two so first was the infinity wrap dress um then i have this blouse and the third one will be if i just managed to sew the other two ones um will it be a sweat blazer I really like uh, wearing blazers, but 
they're sometimes if they're from those really really nice and elegant fabrics they're too stiff for what where i work because uh, most of the people in my office just go come with jeans and with sneakers and if i go if i just enter the the um our office with this dress for example they always ask me are there coming some suppliers do you have some some um somewhere to go why are you this um just beautifully done and I said okay um, that's too much so I um, have thought about sewing some knit uh, knit blazers which are still they're still elegant but they're a little bit more sportive and I found some instructions in one of the first easy fashion magazine from Buda this is it it was no it is the fir first one it's from uh summer 2005 and um the pattern i was looking for is uh this blazer you can see it here and what i like about these magazines is that they have step by step instructions so for the first bla blazer i uh, will all, uh, ever sew i think it's not a good uh, a bad decision to just go by a step by step um, instructions so this is the schematics up here in this side of this corner this is the schematic, so it's a really nice blazer with some darts in the front and um, it doesn't have a lining which I also like so it's not too thick or heavy and um, here are you see just how detailed the instructions are there's really for everything a picture and also for every model if you have down here you have the different models, the different um, different fabrics where they show you the blazer. I will show you to the, uh, them again also. There are three different types. You see there is a pink one, a black one and a green one. And um, they are all basically the same pattern but still a little, little bit different. I have... Uh, I received last year to my birthday a, a voucher for our lo local uh, yarn and fabric store and I went just directly the next day because I knew I wanted to sew this pattern. I went and bought some sounds weird but just simply gray sweatshirt knits. It's uh, quite heavy. You can see it here it's uh, a little bit lighter in a in on the inner side and i will um i thought because it doesn't have any um any really nice details and just in that gray it would be just a little bit too boring i thought of uh, finishing the um just the Inner, uh, finishing the seams in the, on the inner side with this really nice pink uh, ba elastic stretchy bias tape. So it's really stretchy, you can see it here. And that's what I will use and I will probably do a Hong Kong binding. So, um, and I also have uh, found uh, this, this year I think in March on the local uh, yarn fair I told you in the first episode I found some buttons which really go great with this fabric and I will show it to you these are the buttons I hope you can see them oops that's not so good um, they're like this they're metal and I have just a little bit of some drawing in them and they're not too uh, they're not too flat but I really like them and I think this would will look great 
So this is my plan number three. And we'll see how uh, far I go and uh, what I have to show you next week. So uh, what I have now too is that's also finished. That's also finished. Um, I have some new stuff. The Passionate Spinner. Um, just um, saw a sorbetto top out of a really great fa uh, fabric which uh, is absolutely my colors and I uh, she gave me the rest and this is the fabric it's uh, purple with uh, turquoise and mint and it has flowers on it and it's quite vintage uh, the print so I will sew out of this as it's 1 meter 40 which uh, fabric she gave me I will sew out of it a pattern she also gave me uh, and it's uh, this one it's the simplicity 5090 and I will sew this version out of it without the color just the simple round neck here well uh, I was really really happy when she gave it that to me and um, I will definitely sew um, this blouse out of the fabric. What I also have is uh, just an information. Um, she saw uh, or wanted to sew this um, the sorbetto top out of a fabric and uh, the instructions said that you need uh, 1 meter 50 for the sleeveless top and in fact you just need the length of your body and the width of uh, of the um, of the fabric. So if you don't, if you have a fabric which is one meter and fifty wide, you definitely don't need uh, for the no, uh, for the smaller sizes. You like until forty two or so. You don't need more than um, one meter. It's extremely much, and still, I think she uh, had or she used in the end just 70 or 80 centimeters of the fabric so it's way too much in the instructions just always take your uh, just take your measurements and um, also the patterns with you when buying fabric because I have made the experience that um, all the instructions and patterns they usually way too um, how do you say it? Just way too much fabric in the instructions. They're too generous with with the fabrics, and uh, it's your money, so you just uh, just take a little bit less. I usually just take 10, 15 centimeters less, and it's still enough. For example, I, with the dress here in the back, I have uh, about 30 min uh, 30 centimeters left from. Uh, two meters so it says you need two meters and I, uh, I think it was two meters and I still have 30 centimeters left so I don't know what they do but they still it's too much uh, too generous with uh, with the measurements anyway um, the passionate spinner as you know I can also knit um, gave me this uh, bag she saw and it's um, she also sells them in her shop and uh, these are bags for um, sock yarns and sock yarn projects. So they're just small. They have a, a bag or the bottom is here. Uh, they stand. So you can just put them here, put them somewhere and they will stand. And they have a wide opening so you can always put something in and take it out and the zipper. And I really like them. And uh, she gave it to me and I'm really happy about this because I just needed another bag for my for my project. So um, what I also have as inspirations is some magazines. The first one I got it in France. It's the My Image. What I like about this um, it's the issue 13 uh, fall winter and what I like about this magazine is that uh, all instructions are in four different languages. So it's uh, Netherlands, it's German, it's French and it is uh, Spanish. 
And that's great because where can you find a magazine with four languages? So it's easy for somebody who sells from magazines which are from more than one country. You can, uh, because they have the French and uh, the Spanish have great patterns. So it's uh, really nice that you can just buy the, and also the Netherlands, they have great patterns. So you can just um, buy them. And they have here you have all the instructions and uh, also all the vocabulary just written down here in with the translations and that's great. So see here, and I really like this. So um, and the magazine is I was a little bit um, surprised to find at the beginning of June in France a magazine which was for fall and. Uh, winter but I really found some stuff I would sew not now but in the future there's this um, this wrap dress here it just has a wrap bodice it's not completely a wrap dress it has uh, just a uh, elastic here in the middle on the waist but I really like it because it's so soft and looks comfy and uh, there's another thing about this magazine here these pants I really, really like them, but they have a really wide leg. You can see it here in the, in the schematics. It's a really wide leg, and if I wear pants with a, a really wide leg, that looks like um, <laughs> me having a really short body because my hips are wide, and there's so much fabric down my hips, so I really have to just slim the legs but uh, this is a really a nice pad and there's another pattern I will uh, also or I like about this magazine and I will also sew it's um, this uh, simple shirt dress here the instructions for this uh, shirt dress are also for shirts so just without the skirt and it's a really really simple pattern I have another uh, inspiration here, and this is the Netrends, which is also uh, which is also a magazine I haven't had before. And it's um, this one is the issue three, two thousand sixteen. It has uh, some really classic um, patterns in it. Also for a uh, for example for this jersey blazer here. Oh, this way. Um, I really like this blazer because it's also unlined. So as I told you before, I will uh, try to sew some uh, blazers. And um, this magazine has really some classic lines and classic designs. So like this uh, Chanel looking like uh, looking like looking jacket and this uh, simple skirt. And they have uh, some two pieces here with uh, with a blazer and matching pants like this one or um, here they have two of them just summary but uh, they have um, light colors and blazers so there's a lot of pieces and they always have the instructions and also the schematic what I also like about this um, magazine they have they have also the combinations page where they show how you how to combine the different uh, patterns uh, with uh, each other. So here you have uh, and also fabrics how you how you can wear them and that's really nice. And this all uh, magazine has also unlike most of them, it has also sewing patterns for boys not only for girls and I think that's really nice because uh, usually they have just uh, instructions for girls and for like the boys don't want to have uh, uh, just homemade or home handmade um, clothes because that's not it my brother for example he uh, really likes uh, hand knitted sweaters so um, the only thing I don't like about this magazine is that they don't have a um, pattern preview like, for example, uh, the Buddha. 
they have here they always have a page where you can have all the uh, all the pictures of all the uh, models you can the patterns and then there's another page where you can uh, just see the schematics of um, these models so it's really nice you can see uh, directly with one single um, page you can see everything that's in that magazine um, that's easy if you are looking for something specific so um, then I have that's what I was showing you it's the new Buddha it's the Buddha uh, 7 2016 it's the July issue and I will definitely sew this dress I will show it to you again without all the details on it the text on it it's this dress it has a quite a um, square um, how do you call it square decollete it has pleats here in the front and uh, let me show you the schematics it's this dress I really really like it and it also has pockets so I will also um, there's another uh, I will sew it definitely I don't know yet uh, from which fabric but this is a plan and um, here is the fabric uh, the dress again in a different fabric with flowers and I think it also looks great and just on the other page there's a knit wrap dress which I uh, also really like it's not completely open uh, wait here's the schematics it's not completely open but it's uh, it has a upper body wrap so um, then I have another pattern which is in here and I really like it's uh, a top it looks really airy and flattery here and it's also they say it's also easy to sew it's this one it has some ruffles in the front and just uh, simple straps and they say it's easy see here well these are my inspirations for July I hope you enjoyed watching me and watching to see what I made I um, as you have seen I showed you that I also uh, that I can also uh, knit and um, as we have July yesterday the tour the uh, fleece started and I will show you next month something uh, I sew um, not something I sew something I spun so uh, with my spinning wheel so um, I hope you enjoyed watching me and uh, I wish you a good month I hope um, I will see you with the next episode I want to thank you again for all the nice comments and constructive com comments and I really really like that you like my podcast and thank you so much for watching and have a month nice month bye